I don't think I could have chose a better time to complete Snowhead Temple because yeah, as it turns to noon and the sun starts to set, it looks beautiful, man! So remember this snowy, stormy place? Well now that we have completed Snowhead, it looks absolutely beautiful and I love the way it currently looks right now because yeah, the sun is slowly setting and it's just super awesome. But yeah guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In this episode, I'm going to focus on doing the post-Snowhead Temple quest that we can do. And I, the first thing I actually want to do is return the stray fairies, because if I don't do that, i got to recollect them if I end up rewinding time. So we're going to do that real quickly, but before I actually jump into that, also there was, as you saw, a 20 ruby chest there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way to this house. I completely ignored it the first time we came up to the mountain, but this is the mountain smithy ahead. I actually, I believe I checked this sign already, but we could sharpen our sword, which is really freaking cool. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You gotta do this on the first day for a certain item we're gonna be getting. We're actually gonna be getting a complete sword upgrade within this episode, so... Oh, oh, oh a customer! Gabora, fetch our customer some coffee, quick like! Now then, let me take a look at your sword, hmm. All right, to reforge your sword, it will cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. You'll have to hold, you'll have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Keep in mind that after you use your reforge your sword 100, oh wait, after you use your reforge sword 100 times, it will lose its edge and it'll be back to its original sharpness. So, would you like to, yeah, of course, why not? I, so it's only a temporary upgrade. We're going to be able to get ourselves a really cool sword upgrade, but I'm going to do it. And yes, now if I spam the B button, I, I, I ain't got no sword. I can't. I can't. Can you hear it? I'm spamming it. Spamming it really loud. I don't have a sword. You can also see that, yeah, even in my scabbard, it's empty. Actually, I don't even think I have a scabbard anymore. But we have gave up our sword for the rest of this night. So we can get it refined and uh, sharper for a hundred hits. Is it worth it? No, but it will be worth it real soon. Now, let's go ahead and make our way back to Snowhead's Peak so I can pick up the upgrade I'm going to be able to get by returning the Stray Fairies I was able to obtain within the Snowhead Temple because, you know, I got all 15. And, of course, I believe I mentioned this before, if you do rewind time, you have to re-get him. If you don't, return him to the Great Fairy, so we, we kind of want to do that. Also, see this giant Goron? I still blame him for Darmani's death, so I'm not even going to talk to him, but he gets up. I mean, he's really, look, he's really big. So he's able just to climb back on a pillar and stand here. Uh, you could talk to him, but uh, I don't care. I don't reason with people like him. Actually, I, I really don't care about that character, but... Um, there's really no point to talk to him, honestly, so... I'm just gonna ignore him and head straight to the uh, Great Fairy Fountain that's actually right by the Snowhead Temple. You'll find it right here, kind of like hidden in the back. Oh, you're always gonna find the, uh, the, the, the Fairy Fountain somewhat close to the temple, of course, because, you know, you return it from the temple to the fountain and you get yourself something, so... What we're going to be getting ourselves within this episode, I'm sure you can already guess, you know, green stray fairies, a green great fairy, green for, yes, magic. So she's the fairy of wisdom, and she's going to give us additional magic power. Now, our magic meter is going to be doubled, which is really good if you want to roll around at the speed of sound as a Goron, at least in my opinion, so I'm kind of excited for that. But there we go with the power. Oh my god, his eyes, like, open up. Um... But, uh, yeah, our power has been enhanced. 
now we have a whole ton more magic, which is really good. Also for using our fire arrows and such. But there we go. Not bad. Now I don't have to worry about stray fairies. I can easily rewind time and be good. But there's other post uh, snowhead temple things that we need to do. So let's go ahead and get on to that. Next thing I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and teleport back to the mountain village they're not that far apart like snowhead and mountain village are really close but uh you gotta do those whole ramp jumps which make it a little annoying so i kind of avoid it um but anyways what i'm gonna be doing now is i'm gonna be heading to goron village because well we got some catching up to do and see how all of the gorons are doing so far i mean they should be happy now that everything has been saved. I mean, yeah, granted, there is still some snow because we're in a mountain. The climate is pretty cold. But uh, overall, everything has pretty much melted. Look at that. Yeah, it's, there's actually water and really shallow water, as a matter of fact. So I don't know if the Goron Elder made it out. But if he didn't, he most likely drowned because Gorons cannot swim. I believe they immediately die if they fall in water. So... My friend, I really hope you made it out before everything just melted on you. But look how cool Goron Village also looks when it's uh, it's not snowing and freaking it's not a crazy blizzard. It looks kind of nice. I mean, it's really simple because you see all of these houses and, and windows and stuff. And it looks like it connects to a huge city. But all you can enter is the Goron Shrine itself, which is kind of big, but not really much to do. There's also a shop there I didn't show off, but I'm going to ignore that and actually head down here. So we're going to find this big Goron, and we need to talk to him as a Goron because, well, I'm the Goron who sells the power keg, the keg, the most famous product of the Gorons. Want a power keg? The powder keg, rather. Uh, this will do a ginormous explosion, and yeah, we, he's going to entrust us with it, and we're going to have to go ahead and explode at something. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading to the Goron racetrack, as he's saying, and... Uh, blowing up the giant block that's actually covering it and we'll be able to actually play in that Goron racetrack and all of that but we got to do this task and he will entrust us with actually carrying power kegs outside of this little mission which is going to be really helpful for other things so yeah but uh this is not that hard as you can tell we are actually timed yes the string on this powder keg is uh going by at a certain pace and it will explode once it reaches the bottom so we gotta make it as soon as we possibly can or it will explode in our hands which wouldn't be much of an issue we just want to make it to the freaking the freaking Goron racetrack and it's actually not that far but we gotta walk out of the Goron village and to the mountain pass way I actually I don't think there's really a name for this area here but up there is where it lies can I actually no I cannot do first person VR right I'm just going to ignore the wolfos. Hopefully they don't hit me. If you, they do, I'm pretty sure you just drop it. I don't think it will explode, so we'll be good. But, yeah, I don't know why. I guess just when the camera zooms out, everything feels so freaking small. I feel like this whole area is now extremely small because I'm giant Goron Link. But, all right, let's go ahead and quickly pick this up. Oh, no. Pick it up, please. Keep accidentally curling because the freaking commands are so wonky sometimes. There we go. All right, I just need to make it up there kind of annoying because you can't walk up these uh, slopes with with the keg in your hand else you pretty much have to roll but there we go okay we made it in time it's a little scared but we're good and now we just wait it out also freaking uh, uh. all right let's let's just not deal with it because I will fall and die but uh, it's about to explode I wonder if it starts to glow red no you just hear the timer going faster the closer it is and Please, this is only like five times the size of a bomb. Yeah, it does a huge explosion. Way to go, Darmani or Darmy. That was so cool. Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start. Come on, hurry. All right, now we can enter the Goron racetrack and actually race with Gorons, which is really cool. Uh, this mini game is kind of difficult, but it's so worth it. So freaking worth it. You got to do this because you get a really cool item. <laughs> I like how this guy's prepping him up for the race. Wonder what they're saying actually. Let's go and talk to him. Dormani, are you entering after all? I guess I'll be last. Uh, okay. okay. I guess everyone's afraid. But talk to the little Goro and he will get things started and we can easily race. 
So now we get a nice view of the racetrack itself. This is really difficult because these Gorons are good. They're competitive and they want to win as well. So I'm going to backtrack also game lag. Nice. All right. Ooh. Oh, okay. I went too soon. If you go too soon, you'll easily restart the race. They literally give you uh, the, the access to just leave. Okay, come on. Very good. Sweet. But um, I do want to start building up the whole momentum thing as you curl into a ball right before it goes to go because you get a huge boost on them. But they do catch up so fast. Also, they can hit you. And if they hit you too much, I believe you lose your momentum completely. So hopefully we can do this on the first try. I believe we can race as many times as we want. I don't think it's uh, limited to, you know, one at a time or anything. But I don't know. Gorons are good. <laughs> They're... I mean, think of it, we're Darmani, and we're having trouble. I guess we have the spear of Darmani, and I can't even beat these guys. I'm going to try my best. Oh, I lost. There is no way of coming back, because I had to get hit after that, which sucked. Again? What is going- are they, like, pooping out bombs as well? Are I thought it was only Gots thing, but apparently not. Yeah, most likely I'm not going to catch up. I think it is over for me. One slip up, and you're done with. I was hoping I'd be able to do this on the first try, but I can still try- nope! All right, it's over. Once you're super far away, um, the, you, wait, no, what, what? No, I, I don't want to race anymore. I can't even quit. I shouldn't have said that. That is great. Well, uh, I'll meet you guys when I'm doing this again because I had a chance to actually uh, quit the race so we can redo it, but sadly, I said no, and I want to keep racing. Maybe I can actually have him ask me that again if I fall down, because I believe when you do fall down, he asks you that. So I'm going to try it. If not, I'm going to be forced to freaking run through this whole track again. So let's go ahead and just see what happens like this. All right, sweet. It's over. <sighs> yeah, that was super bad, but let's go ahead and try it again. I don't think you have to pay any rupees, just make sure you pick up magic on the way and you'll be good. Uh, this should be easy, like it shouldn't take more than one try to do, but if they hit you, you get really screwed. It's just, you gotta stay away from these freaking bastards, man. <laughs> these freaking Gorons, dude. Alright, don't mess with me, man. Don't. I will freaking hit you with my spikes. I don't know how it doesn't affect you. Your freaking backs are just so hard. Okay, well... I guess because they're Gorons and they're like super duper tough and durable and things. But, uh, don't, oh, those are the bombs that slowed me down. They weren't pooping bombs. There are literally bombs as like stage hazards and stuff. No, come on. Okay, I could still win this. We're not that far behind. I believe all of the Gorons also bumped on a tree, so we're good. But we got to get first place. If I can't, then that's... Are you serious? See, they don't... It's not even the stage that is difficult. It's really dumb. They do not leave you alone. Okay, if I can pick up momentum again, I think I can win. It's still a freaking chance for me as long as they are ruining each other's race. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's, there's still a chance. Go ahead and try to take a sharp turn here. Come on. Oh my god, stop hitting me, dude. Oh, sharpest turn I can make, yes. Okay, no, 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 no. Yes, build it up, build it up. Ah, I think I did it. Yes, I did. So it looked like it was over for me, but I continued going strong. Uh, my magic was actually so close to running out, but I was able to do it. So that was great. I knew you were the fastest Goron Darmy. I, I was sure you'd get first place. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. Gold dust. The finest quality available. And I was like, what am I supposed to do with gold dust? Well, it's a super cool item because it's going to help us out a whole lot. But... Yeah, now let's go ahead and actually backtrack to Goron Village real quick. Let him know that we delivered the keg to the Goron Racetrack and everything went smoothly and we can actually handle kegs. And I believe he's actually going to give us a keg uh, certification to where we can we, we have the license, I guess, to use kegs. Uh, which is going to be super nice because that means anytime we're at Goron, we can buy kegs from like the bomb shop, even in Clocktown, we'll be selling one. So it's going to make it easy for a really certain side quest that I'm sure you can guess what it is because there's a big boulder we're supposed to blow up, but we can't. Uh, and we end up having to wait a couple days for it to, for the certain path to open up. So if you can guess what that it, that is, let me know in the comments. If you already know what that is, then don't guess because you already know, so there's no point. <laughs> 
But let's go ahead and head down here. Talk to this Goron and let him know. I believe you have to talk to him as a Goron. So it looks like you managed to do it. No, knowing your skills is half the battle. Here you go. Thanks. I doubt he even said that, but I don't care. We did it. Now, remember that sword I was talking about? Yeah, with the gold dust we have, we can refine our sword to be a whole lot more durable and get a really badass sword that I'm super excited to show off. And it's one of my favorite swords of all time. Um, it is not the sword that we're going to be getting uh, by sunrise. And by sunrise, I mean literally right now, because, oops, wrong song. Uh, because I'm going to go ahead and forward time to the next day and uh, see if he is done. Obviously, he will be done by now, so. I <laughs> just how lame the song sounds when you're playing it on your freaking drums. I don't know, maybe because there's, there's not much, like, it's not as loud. That might be it. Um, but, yeah, it just sounds weird when you play it. Okay, let's not take that out anymore. I'm going to use my ocarina the next time I want to play the song. And now uh, let's go ahead and run real quickly to the... Uh, smithy the mountain smithy and let him know because I need a weapon so I kept you waiting but it's done see <gasps> oh my god you're a kokiri sword which they called it a hero sword and didn't even look like the kokiri sword but whatever I like how they reference Ocarina of Time's you know weapon because Link did get the kokiri sword in Ocarina of Time so your kokiri sword has been strengthened and forged into the razor blade now we can hit things a hundred times before it becomes dull and turns back into a Kokiri sword. But with the power of gold dust, we will be able to to reforge a sword and make it even stronger. Now let's go ahead and just look at how this one looks. It's a really badass looking sword. I believe it does double damage. And yeah, if you just keep hitting it on freaking still. I, I don't know if actually this will break the sword. Regardless, I don't want to break the sword. Because if you have the sword go dull then you can't really do what I'm trying to do here. So once you do get the Razor Sword, talk to him again once you have the Gold Dust. And uh, he's gonna he's gonna offer us something pretty cool. So let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Hey, now that's a mean joke. Your sword has already been reforged into a Razor Sword. Unless, do you want me to make your sword stronger? To do that, I'll need Gold Dust. Do you have any? Yes, we actually do. Let's go ahead and take it out. Thanks to the freaking Lulu Goro for winning the freaking Goron race tech race is able to get it so why if it isn't gold dust and even top quality why even if I use it to reforge your sword there'll still be some left all right just for you I'll do it for free sure you're gonna end up taking the rest of the gold dust what are you talking about now then straight to work come back tomorrow morning all right guys we're gonna get this super cool weapon now obviously we don't have the sword again so Let's go ahead and start forwarding time until the final day. We can pick it up. So that's why you need all three days to do this. That's why I kind of wanted to complete the uh, Snowhead Temple before we did anything. Because you, you can't even have them forge anything when Snowhead Temple isn't complete. Also, you couldn't get the uh, Goron Racetrack to be available because it was also frozen. Everything was frozen. This is all like post uh, Snowhead Temple side quest, and, uh, if you rewind time, everything reverts back, so you gotta make sure you do it right after, so I thought it was super convenient to do it right after I uh, took on Snowhead Temple, in the Let's Play too, so, yeah. But, I mean, I, obviously, if I did rewind time, I could easily redo it, because all you need to do is take on the boss, the temple itself is completed, heck, they have a portal that takes you straight to the boss, but... I don't know, it's just a lot more convenient to do it the first time you take on Snowhead. But, I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? We got, okay, so your freaking Razor Sword has been strengthened. Now it is the, I believe it's literally called Gilded Sword. So we got the Gilded Sword, newly forged. Your sword is better than ever and will never break. Yes, so we have the strength of the freaking Razor Sword, but it will never freaking break, and we got it for free, and it's super long and badass and has an amazing design on it. Look at it. This is our official sword now. We're going to be using this throughout the rest of the game. We got more range. It looks super cool. The scabbard got longer, so it makes Link look more older because he, he just looks older because with the longer scabbard, I don't know, just having a big sword makes you old, I guess. <laughs> But I like it. Super cool. One of my freaking favorites. 
And, uh, yeah. Now, let's go ahead and before we do end off this episode, because I feel like we've done a lot of these uh, whole post-game snowhead things. That's pretty much the remaining of what we had to do. There's still one more thing I wanted to do, and that is actually a small mini-game that we can get ourselves a piece of heart. Uh, but we have to be Darmani, so we have to have the Gwan mask on, because it will allow us to actually pick it up. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and make our way over to the whole... I believe East Clocktown is just filled with mini games, or just you know a bunch of houses. And this is it. This is the treasure house mini game, treasure chest mini game. I don't know what's called. Let's see, treasure chest shop. It's really shaped like a chest. Even the inside has the whole chest uh, layout to it. But let's go ahead and talk to this lady behind the counter as a Goron, so we can do this. So, oh yeah. Wait. Okay. For a second, I thought I couldn't skip it. But well, aren't you a fit fellow? Wanna play? For you, it's 30 rupees. Oh, snap. If you can make it all the way to the treasure chest and open it within the time limit, I'll give you a special prize. Finding out what's inside is in half the fun. Are you ready? So I don't know if she's like attracted to you and you get a better uh, prize, but you have to talk to her as a Goron to get the piece of heart. I don't know how, why, or what exactly, but that's just how it works. So... This is randomized, completely randomized, each time you take it on. There is no specific path, but you want to just try to run straight. Wow, that was super easy. I think because I had the bunny hood on, I was able to pass certain areas where I would have been blocked at. So we kind of like cheated the game itself. But talk to her as a Goron, put on your bunny hood and just freaking ace this mini game. It's that easy when you do it. So did you have fun? Um, won't you try again? No. I'm done. Oh, really? Too bad. Come again. Oh, I'm good. So that gave us another heart container because we only needed one more piece of heart to fulfill one. And yeah, that does it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We are on the final day. There's really nothing more we can do so far. So I will end off the episode here. And in the next episode, we'll jump to more side quests and things. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I've, well, I don't know how to play this long of time, but I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one. Good. Bye. <laughs>